back together after two yeah. years ago when the storms and the waters were flowing through. Boy, here they heart, are again going through it again. Your heart breaks for them, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Eight inches of rain within a couple of hours. I mean, we're going to get some rain tomorrow, but nothing. Not as much. Nothing. Yeah, like I mean, that. I won't completely rule out a, a couple of areas that mm -hmm. might get a little flash flooding here because the rain rates may be high. We won't see eight inches, okay? <laughs> but we'll be on the lookout. We do have some welcomed sites, though, and this is some rain on live Doppler 13 radar. It has been a very dry month, and really, if you go back to the middle of April, it's been very dry. Some locations over five inches below average during that time. So we will take whatever we can get. Uh, a lot of moisture in the air, so whatever falls here the next 24 hours will uh, definitely have some pockets of heavy rain. 82 in the city at this hour. For the third straight day, we hit 90 degrees. And just shy of a record high for today, average is 77. For the month and officially at the National Weather Service office, just over an inch. There will be many backyards that pick up an inch tomorrow, some that may get as much as two inches of rain with the leftovers of uh, Alberto. We got some rain falling Rockville to Rochdale. That's kind of pivoting toward the north and northwest. And another little band here from Bedford, a little more impressive earlier this evening. This is all part of what you're seeing here just to the west of Nashville. That's the center of the circulation here, and it's moving toward central Indiana. In fact, it's very possible that this circulation could actually move over the metro area between about 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. So when and if that happens, we won't have a whole lot of wind with it. But before we get to that, we'll have these rings of heavy thunderstorms that wrap around this. And so we'll get waves of uh, rainfall here. And again, I don't think it's going to be raining over your backyard all day tomorrow, but there will be pockets of some heavy rain from time to time. And even as we get into the evening, we'll still have some areas that will be getting very heavy rain. Now, what's very common with these systems on the eastern side of their circulation, some of the storms that pop up could rotate as well. And they may not even have lightning with them. Sometimes just low top showers could spin a little bit. So there is potential, albeit low, that we could have a couple of tornado warnings for tomorrow, especially the eastern half of the state. I think a lot of places get about a half an inch of rain. Very welcome news. But some spots get over two inches, and that will be the main threat with this system for us. But as you can see there, and why we had that low risk of severe weather is because there is a chance of a tornado or two. Showers possible in the morning for the kids at the bus stop. Lunchtime is going to be wet. Rain and thunderstorms around during the afternoon and the evening. Now, because of the cloud cover around, closer to 80 degrees for tomorrow. So we cool off. It is going to be very, very humid for tomorrow. Sunshine back in store for us on Thursday, and then look at that. We're nearing 90 once again, so the heat is going to be with us here. Thunderstorms will pop up Thursday afternoon. Some of those could be locally severe. We'll have to kind of watch this. I think that risk area is probably going to be pushed a little farther to the north the way it's looking right now. A seven-day forecast that will show high temperatures closer to 90 degrees into and beyond the weekend here. So the hot stretch will continue as we get into early June. With an average high of 77, we're going to be running about 10 degrees above average over the next week. All right. Thank you, Sean. Yeah.